Good morning. Well, I got started a little later this morning <clears throat> because I figured if I have to walk all the way to the bar to broadcast this, I might as well start walking close to the time that I get me there right when they open. And they don't open till 10, so here it is, 9.05. I should be getting there about 10 minutes early for them to open. But it's a good bit warmer than it normally is when I walk. So I got a little water with me today. Had to leave Sammy to watch the RV, but uh, everything's good. But that gave me some time this morning to record another video of trying out some of that, uh, that grass-fed, grass-finished beef that I bought. And uh, this morning I had the short ribs. I can tell you one thing, if there's more short ribs in those boxes, I don't plan on air frying them. That was, uh, that was about 15 minutes of getting stuff out of my teeth on that one. But they were delicious. They were so good. But uh, I'll have that video hopefully edited tomorrow morning. At least that's my goal. Because between 3 and 6 a.m. I usually get a little bit of internet where I can work with my iCloud and all that stuff. And have all these videos available and be able to upload it to my phone so that I can take it into to the bar and get it out to you. Whew. Meanwhile, I do want to talk about something that uh, I've been thinking is important to get back to because as much as I know that this diet has done wonders for me, just eating ruminant meat, water, and salt, if you go back and watch some of my earlier videos, you'll see a, a stark difference in the person you see before you now. I'm uh, not only a lot slimmer and trimmer, but also my attitude is so much better. I feel like a million bucks, and I wanna be able to share that with you. Uh, I was the kind of person that wouldn't go exercising, go walking or do any of that kind of stuff before this diet, but I just have so much freaking energy now, I have to let it out somewhere. So I've been walking several miles every day, and you can check out a lot of those videos right here where I try to share some encouragement with you to do the same. Eating meat certainly has been great for me, but one of the biggest things is that, you know, some people are not gonna be able to necessarily do a diet just like this, or they think they can't, or it's uh, it's too one-sided. So the one thing I wanna say is, is, there's a few things you could still do that are really gonna improve your health. And uh, the biggest one, Aside from cutting out sugar, which uh, the big thing about sugar is really that it, it gets you addicted to the food that it's in. And of course it causes your body to store fat. But there's some other things that have an effect on your cholesterol and your triglycerides and overall weight and appearance, uh, histamines and inflammation. And that is vegetable oils or anything that actually is technically a seed oil. When you find uh, safflower oil, canola oil, peanut oil, uh, cottonseed oil, which is what's the, the main ingredient in Crisco, or uh, even olive oil, you know, those, those are all gonna have a certain amount of the type of saturated fats that, that are found in plants that are very different than in animals. And rather than me give you all the technical breakdown, I'm gonna share a link in this video where there's a, a guy who really breaks this down in a wonderful way. But um, suffice it to say that the reason why a lot of these vegetable oils exist is simply because of trying to figure out or how to make money on something that they would normally throw away. And simply because it looked like lard or animal fat that we'd been using to cook with for years and years and years, long before we started using these seed oils, but because they had a product that could look like that, they figure, well, it's the same thing. It's a type of fat, you can cook with it, so it must be good. But it turns out that our bodies really can't break that stuff down like it can animal fats. And, uh, it's just really awful stuff. But if you can avoid the sugar, 
If you can avoid the vegetable oils and you really got to check your labels, uh, there's a few other ingredients you want to really be careful of. And that is citric acid. And I don't mean natural citric acid. I mean manufactured citric acid is in just about everything. Whenever you see citric acid on a label, that means it has manufactured citric acid in it. And that is not made from like oranges as you might think you would get citric acid from. You just can't get enough to make all that they need for all these products to take away some of the bitterness. And uh, you're sacrificing to get flavor, but what you're sacrificing is having your body filled with inflammation. So if you're in pain from all the inflammation all the time, it's gonna make it really hard for you to wanna get out and exercise. If you're overweight because of all the sugar and the, the vegetable oils that you're finding in your food, cutting those things out is gonna make a huge difference to promoting your health. So I'm in for either a two and a half or a five mile walk today, depending on whether or not I can get a ride back from the bar like I did yesterday. And when I went to leave at six o'clock in the afternoon, it was still pretty hot outside. But thankfully, uh, a very nice gentleman named Frank Osterman gave me a ride home. You know, I'm meeting so many nice people in this area. It's, uh, it's really striking how many really wonderful people are living right around here. And I feel really blessed to be in the right place. I just wanted to share that with you because I know a lot of folks are still a little leery of the idea of having so few ingredients in their diet. And I wanted to be able to encourage you that there are ways, there are ways that you can eat that are gonna really, really help you lose weight and get healthier. And you don't necessarily have to go all out with lion diet. For me, there's no other choice because I feel so good just eating this meat and cutting out the things that have hurt my gut over the years. So if you have gut issues, it might be a different story, but if you're just trying to lose a little weight and get that energy to start exercising, doing those few things, watching out for the sugar, watching out for the vegetable oils, watching out for the citric acid and the ingredients, gonna make a huge difference. Well, that's it for today. I'm getting a call from my contractor, so I'll see you tomorrow.